This YouTube video has over 2 million clicks. In it, a man fries water. Actually, impossible. Water can't be covered in breadcrumbs and it evaporates when heated. But this man has managed to turn the rules of physics upside down. We want to visit him and so travel to Cambridge, Massachusetts in the USA. Here we are with YouTuber Jonathan Marcus. Instead of a laboratory, a perfectly normal apartment building awaits us. He made his video here. Hello. Hi. Are you Jonathan? Yes, I am. Alisa, hi, nice to meet you. Yeah, come on in. Uh, I hope you're hungry, uh, yes. prepared everything. The man has a sense of humor. We all know water doesn't fill you up. There is more going on in this kitchen than simply cooking and baking. At least there's a deep fryer. But how does Jonathan fry water in it and why at all? I've been experimenting in all parts of my life, uh, and certainly in the kitchen since I was very young. Here it comes. Jonathan is not a physicist, not a chemist, but works as a consultant for a technology company. Does he know what he's doing? After all, mixing water and hot oil isn't without its dangers. The biggest problem is if you put uh, water into hot oil, you get a violent reaction. Even a small splash of water in hot oil leads to strong reactions. The water immediately vaporizes into steam and expands, displacing the oil and hurling it explosively into the air. Please do not copy this at home. It can result in severe burns. In order to deep fry water, I had to have some kind of protective layer. Um, and for, th for that, I turned to just the techniques of mo molecular gastronomy. So the water needs a solid body, a jelly-like shell. The kitchen drawers look like a chemistry lab. No wonder Jonathan is now mixing calcium alginate from calcium and alginate. First, alginate, a raw material obtained from algae. It is considered a perfect gelling agent. Jonathan weighs it and mixes it with 500 milliliters of water. During mixing, air bubbles appear. They can't be left inside because they would cause an explosion when frying later. So Jonathan sucks out the air with a vacuum device. And now I'm going to warm it up to uh, make it more fluid and make the bubbles come out easier. Then the alginate water goes into a water bath at 25 degrees. And now the second substance. Calcium. We know it as an important component in our bones. Jonathan also weighs the calcium and mixes it with water. However, the calcium water is not put into the heat bath, but into an ice cube tray. This is the water that's going to be inside the deep fried water. And it tastes just like water. It has a little bit of calcium salt in it. Off it goes to the freezer. Deep frying water is mega complicated. And we still don't understand what this is all about. Now it's time for the deep fryer. Here Jonathan provides everything we need for frying. Flour, beaten eggs and breadcrumbs. I think it's time to make some uh, deep fried water. Careful, now comes the most important step. The calcium ice cube goes into the alginate water. What then happens? A chemical reaction in which calcium alginate is formed. As the ice cube melts, it's forming a sphere. And that is the calcium alginate. It encloses liquids with a kind of skin, so you can use it like solid bodies. The result? A water bubble, solid on the outside, liquid on the inside. So that membrane now is getting thicker and thicker, which will make it safer for us to deep fry it. Just to remind you, this cover is needed so that the water does not come into contact with the hot fat. So now we have made a drop of water in a casing. Jonathan takes it out carefully so it doesn't break. But is the casing strong enough for deep frying? And if you want to see what it feels like, just hold out your hand. Okay. There you go. I don't want to break it. It's just a thin layer on the outside of gel. If I break this, it's just liquid water. Water inside, the slippery shell of calcium alginate outside, reminiscent of gelatin. By the way, molecular chefs also use this trick for unusual recipes. But none of them has ever deep-fried water. And from here on out, it's just a normal deep-frying process. 
Well, a little more flair is called for. Jonathan rolls the skin-covered ball of water in flour, egg and breadcrumbs. He's lucky the delicate shell doesn't break. Now the tricky bit. The breaded ball goes into the deep fryer's hot oil. Now I'm watching closely to make sure that it doesn't start expanding too much. We just want it a little crispy on the outside and then we'll be done. The danger is that the pressure in the breaded ball rises dramatically due to the heat during frying. So if the gooey coating is not thick enough because Jonathan didn't get all the air bubbles out earlier, it could burst. And that would cause an explosion in the oil. We are lucky, the coating doesn't burst. And there we have it, there is deep fried water. At first glance, no difference to deep fried pastries if it wasn't for the liquid content. It just worked right away. Meanwhile, Jonathan is a real pro at deep frying. In less than half an hour, it's ready. You can take a bite of one of the world's stupidest foods. So we do. And it tastes good. Freaky. Mm. Oh, crazy. <laughs> yeah, it still surprises me with just how bland and flavorless <laughs> that explosion of water is. So, what else can be done? I haven't done that yet, but uh, we can totally do that. I have things here in the kitchen we can try. How about milk or coffee, for example? Oh, I just made this soup yesterday. Jonathan first prepares all three liquids again as calcium ice cubes. Then he fries some milk. Coffee. And, of course, the French onion soup. Basically, there are no limits to the imagination when it comes to deep frying, with one exception. If you try to deep fry something with gas in it, it would explode. So you can't do beer either. What works looks tasty enough. I wonder if a new trend is making history here. For now, I think I'm just gonna keep experimenting in the kitchen and maybe make these for my friends. Uh, oh, hey Pete. How's it going? Good. Wow. His flatmate Pete has seen a lot of crazy things and is a regular taster. I think this is French onion soup. Yep. Yeah. Now our team gets a turn. Coffee takes some getting used to. The water was better. The fried soup is convincing. Oh, it's great. Oh. Okay. Perfect! Maybe Jonathan will open a restaurant one day. The first and only one with deep-fried liquids.